Vermi composting is a simple low cost solution to handle large quantities of segregated kitchen waste. It requires very less infrastructure to get started and is easy to maintain the day to day operation. It is an efficient method of composting and the output is rich vermi compost that is nutritious and an instant food for plants. All that we need is segregated kitchen waste, shredded dry leaves, cow dung in the form of slurry from the native cows and of course the beautiful earthworms. Every day almost 500 kg of wet waste can be processed without any issue of bad smell. It takes about 2 months for the vermi compost to be ready for use. This type of compost is always in high demand by the urban gardeners and farmers who use it to grow safe and healthy food. In this video, we will demonstrate the vermi composting method used in Swachhagraha Kalika Kendra Bengaluru. Let's understand setting up of tanks. The vermi composting tank can be built using stone slabs, cement blocks or regular bricks. Here we are using stone slabs that were lying around as waste in the neighborhood. An ideal size of a single tank is 2 and 1/2 feet in height, 6 feet in width and 10 feet in length. It is advisable to keep the height and width to these sizes and vary the length if there is more space available. Next There should be a middle partition width wise to split into two parts so each part is 3 feet in width and the height is 2 and 1/2 In the middle partition wall there should be small gaps so the earthworms can move from one partition to the other This is very critical in this process of vermi composting The base of the tank can be just concrete or stone slabs with concrete to prevent the entry of pests like rat mice Also it is very important to create a slope in the tank towards one side and have an outlet in the lower side so excess water flows out through the outlet this excess water is called vermi wash it is collected from the outlet diluted and used on the plants the tank structure is covered with a perforated sheet lid to avoid the entry of rat mouse or other unwanted pests the perforation allows air circulation and helps in the breaking down process a roof on top is required to prevent direct rain and sun also the roof has to be designed in such a way that splashing rain is also avoided the tank should be in a cool and comfortable temperature for a earthworms to thrive vermi composting process let us look how to add the organic waste to the tanks we need to fill one partition at a time collect all the carbon rich matter like dry leaves agro waste and garden cuttings then get all the nitrogen rich kitchen waste used coffee tea powder organic market waste and semi composted kitchen waste it is important to remove all plastic metal glass or any other inorganic matter from the organic waste Here the dry leaves and the kitchen waste is mixed and shredded in a chopper into smaller pieces. This facilitates the composting process. Note that chopping and shredding is not mandatory but greatly helps the decomposing process to be faster. Few points to be noted while adding the kitchen waste. Avoid excess citrus fruits, peels, onion peels as the earthworms don't thrive well in it. Small quantities are manageable. Big chunks of large vegetables like pumpkin, ash gourd, etc to be avoided in the tank. If we use a shredder or a chopper, this problem doesn't arrive. First add 1 feet of dry leaves at the bottom of one of the partitions of the tank. It should be spread evenly across it. Repeat the process of adding alternate layers of kitchen waste and dry leaves with a sprinkle of cow dung slurry like a sandwich. Spread this mix evenly in the composting tank. Next, we have to prepare cow dung slurry. The cow dung can be fresh or dry and preferably from a native cow. The cow dung is mixed with water and made into a slurry. This cow dung slurry is sprinkled uniformly on the organic waste in the tank. The microbes in the cow dung slurry will start working on the kitchen waste and will create an ideal condition for the earthworms to do this job.
Cover it again with shredded dry leaves to maintain the moisture in the pile. Cover the pile with a jute sack or old cotton cloth and sprinkle water to keep the cloth moist and cool. Close the perforated sheet lid after adding all the layers. After 30 to 45 days, open the perforated sheet lid and introduce surface feeder earthworms like red wigglers. They are different from deep burrow earthworms. Fresh organic waste and cow dung slurry in the composting process generate a lot of heat. This is not suitable for the earthworms. Hence, the red wigglers are introduced after a month and a half when the temperature in the composting pile reduces and vermicomposting process can start. The earthworms feed on the organic matter and excrete castings which is a vermicompost. After a few weeks, the earthworms can be separated from the compost in the tank and the compost can be harvested. Around the time red wigglers are introduced into partition 1, it is time to repeat the same process in the second partition. Add a layer of dry leaves at the bottom, then mix of chopped dry leaves and kitchen waste. Finally, sprinkle cow dung slurry on the top. While this pile decomposes and cools down, when the compost is harvested from partition 1, the earthworms gradually move to the second partition and do their job. The same cycle is repeated and we get good rich nutritious vermicompost which has a high market value. After a few weeks, 4 to 6 weeks, the earthworms can be separated from the compost in the tank and the compost can be harvested. Now repeat the same cycle for the next partition and the remaining tanks. To add this vermicompost to the plants, the top soil to be removed, vermicompost is added and cover it again with the top soil and then water the plant. This way the plant absorbs the nutrients in a better way. We get good rich nutritious vermicompost which has high market value. Vermicompost contains major and minor nutrients in plant available forms, enzymes, vitamins, plant growth hormones. Hope you find this video useful. Please like, share and subscribe to our channel by clicking on the bell icon below. Thank you.